Hello, hello, friend. And welcome in. Ah. The last time I played this game, basically beat the game, but... I still want to play more. <laughs> this game has been absolutely a blast. So, I do technically have more content left in the form of these side quests, or requests as the game called them. So, that feels like a pretty good Sunday stream. If I can still technically call this Sunday. It's technically Monday, I know that. But... I feel like I should be running around with a different team than my usual. The only one who gets to be a mainstay is Sylveon. Sylveon's still my favorite, I think. I don't really have much preference other than that. Hmm. Maybe have a Pikachu around would be fun. Happen to have any favorites? <laughs> I might as well add him to the team if you do. Eh, I'm gonna probably suffice for now. And it's probably time I picked up a new look, too. One thing that I should mention is, after doing all the main story stuff, this shop added a whole bunch of outfits that are a little more... I guess, spoilery. There's, like, a ninja outfit. An outfit that kind of looks like that Volo guy at the end of his fight. I already picked up ones that looked like the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan. But apparently I can be a ninja! But what else was there? Oh man, there's still the suits. I haven't, I haven't run around with a suit much. <laughs> ah! Hey there! Sinnoh outfit, quote-unquote. Hmm... Maybe that'll be appropriate. That color looks pretty good. Beyond buying more bag slots, I don't really know what to do with my money by this point anyway. Then what counts for the hat? Oh, hello. Okay, well this hat looks new. <laughs> I'm already forgetting his name, but this is the hat from that, that Lucario guy. Huh. I wonder why that got added to the shop. Okie dokie. Maybe it'd be best if I just went without a hat for this thing. <laughs> How do I remove the hat? Well, just let me hear. Yeah, that'll work. No hat this time. Right, so, I don't know exactly how long this stream will be, but I do have a fair number of requests just sitting around.
I still have to worry about the Clefairy. Oh yeah, I forgot that the Photography Man has a quest. I don't even remember what Pokemon's in that picture. What about that request you had? Can you show me the photo again? Oh, it was Turtwig. That's right. Okay. That's easy. At least I don't think I already have a Turtwig. I can always just use the search, I guess. It's not the most effective search, but it helps highlight the ones you need. Just in case I have one sitting here. <laughs> I don't think I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I do. I could just go capture a Turtwig. Would be pretty nice to have the photography shop out completely done. Yeah, it was on that side. I found a single place for Turtwig so far, and it was in this little spring area in the southeast of this Marlins. And I'm already going in the wrong direction. I remember early on I, I expressed the concern that everything looked really samey, so it was really difficult to tell where I'm going. It differs a bit from place to place, thankfully. I've kind of gotten better at actually navigating around. But, then again, I've also been playing this for over apparently 95 hours. So I would sure hope I got used to it. And that's the third twig I want. Oh, that thing saw me. Turtwig didn't see a thing, though. That'll surely work, right? Too easy. And I suppose I should uh, also pick up some of these satchels. <laughs> Nothing else, I can definitely tell that this stream's gonna be, a a teeny bit less structured than before. Because with the previous ones, I felt like I really wanted to see what happens next, see what happens next! What Pokémon's around the corner? What's the next Legendary? That kind of thing. But, in this case, I don't know, this would just be a normal play session, I guess. There was one of the mission I'm remembering around here. There was a guy that wanted me to teach them how to use Pachirisu. I could try to do that, I think. I don't know if that means I'll have to do anything special with Pachirisu, but... And then there was one a little over there. Oh, that's why. I was tr astray. Uh, the guy in question was actually at the entrance to this place. Last time I was streaming, I did capture another... Well, hello. Alpha Roselia. That just happened randomly. I might as well try to capture it. Using the tried and true berry. And I think that means caught.
What the? What, why is there an Alpha Bidoof there? <laughs> okay. Thunderbolt will do it, right? That's kind of in the perfect catching HP, so you know what? Sure, I'll try to catch it. Okay! Guy get impact sure hurts. <laughs> Sorry, Pikachu. I'm sure a great ball will work just fine. It's barely got any HP at all. And I may have already caught one last time, but... Can't help but catch more. Yeah, no kidding. Some of the Alpha Pokémon are just silly big compared to the others. It's hardly noticeable with Pachirisu here, but with other ones, like Gengar, the difference is extreme. Just so you can get a good look. If it'll let me. Why won't you- Yeah, yeah, it's giant, alright. Right. right. Why are they so big? Oh, actually, that one has no health. Maybe Rosalia has a better chance. But why can't I throw them around here? That's actually a little weird. It's not letting me. Oh. Well, that kind of counts, I guess. Better little Turtwig. Got some massive size differences here. <laughs> I I was I was finally realizing once the Pokemon hit the tree. I think it was because it was expecting me to throw the Pokeball to gather the item and not to just have them out. Now that there's no nothing nearby that they can collect, I think it's letting me place them just fine. I'm assuming. I don't know for sure. <laughs> yep, you got that right. That is the size difference for sure. Another Alpha Roselia? I mean, might, might as well, I guess. You don't like the berry? Okay. How about another berry? No, nope, no berry. Okay, fine. It seemed like it was going for the berry. I wasn't sure if that was gonna hit. I always wonder about those 70 accuracy moves. An exchange of the Stannis effects. But it'll be fine. I just need Venishock. Perfect. Yeah, you are right about that. The berry despawn. They don't they don't stay on the ground very long, admittedly. So if the Pokemon decides it wants to just walk towards it instead of run towards it, it often will have the berry disappear before the Pokemon actually gets to it. Oh well. Am I still in the right way? Yeah, okay. I guess since I'm heading this way, I may as well grab that uh, last bag. Help some more people out. Get their items back. Ah, oh, it's right by the tree. 
There it is. So I think before I leave, I'll try seeing what the guy with the Pachirisu here wants. Also means I'm gonna apparently, according to quest, only have a Patrice with me. Remove all other Pokemon from your party and show Ren a great strategy for battling with the Patrice. Well, I don't think I have too many of these, so they may be my only options. But I'll check just in case. Your name is the name of the NPC. That's what happened there. Oh, I have some more sitting there, too. Okay. Alright. So, the point is, I need to have my party completely clear. Except for... The Patrice in question. So, which one of these is going to be more... Uh... Well, neither of them are nice natures, but... If I try to leave without any Pokémon, I don't think it'll let me, actually. But um, but um, <laughs> Not letting me! <laughs> I think I'll go with this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just sleeping? <laughs> well, now I feel bad. Oh, that's adorable. I, I I don't I don't think it's dead. It's fine. It was just sleeping. <laughs> so what kind of moves we got anyway? I should probably make sure I actually know what stats this thing has. Nearly equal special attack and attack. Okay. Crunch and Iron Tail are always nice. But as far as actual attacking moves, Spark. Quick attack? That'll probably suffice. I don't know for sure, but I kind of guess that it means I'll be fighting th that guy's Patrice with this Patrice. Alright, so what's the deal? Ready to show me what Patrisu can do? Let's see it battle against the Mycy Ursa Ring! Oh. Ha! Ah, now that's the spirit. Now follow me. What level is it? 30. Okay, 30's, 30's not horrible. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe that's a problem. Is 
that is definitely a problem. Well, there went that. <laughs> Seems like this is one challenge that requires methods beyond the ordinary. If you do figure out an amazing way to battle with Patrice, so come back and show me. I... Well, it definitely didn't help that it lowered the offensive stats there. Uh... I probably just need one more shot at it. Maybe I'll just forgo the Thunder Wave. It might work. It's possible that just straight up offense will work. Yeah, that kind of looks right. Critical hit! Well, that's not exactly... That's not exactly fair for it to be a crit. But whatever works. That, uh, went a lot differently. Astonishing! That really was amazing! You defeated a nurse ring with the Pachirisu! And your Pachiris was so pumped up and eager for battle, it looked like it was fearless! You directed Pachirisu with such a plum in battle, it was clear how well you understood it. I guess all the work your Survey Corps members put into learning about Pokémon does pay off. But we won't be outdone. We'll work hard to reach that same level of understanding. Well, I did fail the first time, but it worked out in the end. <laughs> Whoops. Now, I do like me some Pachirisu, but I dare say this particular one is not one I will be using. Eh, that's not gonna work. Something like that. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Dealing with these boxes would be a little easier if I had a couple more tools. Oh well. Time to talk to... The Photography Studio. Get to show him a turd twig. The other fun thing is I'm getting pretty darn close to that research rank 10. Or, well, no, that's not quite right. The 10th star member, probably. I've heard there's not really a reward for that. But it'll be nice to have. I mean, I needed to double my points after hitting 9. <laughs> I had gotten 30,000 points up until that point, and then from 9 to 10 is another 30,000. I think I've got the Pokémon you wanted. Yes! That pair of leaves on its head! That's it! I knew the photo had captured a Pokémon. Now I'm fired up to take a proper shot of it, to commemorate this little discovery. This has been such a learning experience for me. I've been able to hone my eye as a photographer thanks to these little puzzles for sure. But I still want to see and photograph even more different Pokémon. If you're open to it, I certainly hope you'll keep bringing your Pokémon by to take many more photographs here. New option added, huh? Well, what you got? Pikachu should be photographed today. Do we have more colors of screens, maybe? I'll take it not. Guess that looks fine enough. Maybe. Oh. Oh no. 
Yeah, leveling in some games gets absolutely ridiculous. And BDO, like you said, is an extreme example. <laughs> I think it's that they added more filters, because I think before I had plain, nostalgic, and monochromatic. So what's dreamy? That... That's, um... That doesn't... That doesn't really look dreamy to me, but alright. That's just sapia. <laughs> well, that's kind of the fun thing. To me, all of these... Lenses, I guess, have looked a little... Too similar. <laughs> sure, why not? So... That was dreamy, quote-unquote. So what's... What's the sunset filter? Uh, I guess the color's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if any of these lenses look too good, for at least for my purposes. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, so that's fierce. Sure. Just so you have a comparison, I'll go ahead and pick the other ones. Monochromatic. I mean, kinda. It's fitting enough. <laughs> And... Nostalgic filter. I feel like some of these are too samey. <laughs> I would never use this one personally. <laughs> then there was that first one, the... No, wait. I... Okay. So I already did show the filters. I was mistakenly looking at the plain filter as a different one, but it's... No, it's... And hello, hello, Chowder! Welcome in! So that's that request taken care of. Although I see there's a new quest? Wonder what I did that triggered another quest. Guess I might as well pick it up. Okay, so it's one of the bulletin board ones. Mushroom hunting with swine up. Oh, it's a follow-up on the... the mushroom guy, okay. <laughs> it seems Moral, the mushroom hunter, needs a helping hand, or nose. Make use of Swine of special skills and fulfill his request. Oh, okay, that's another one for the list. So, I had this quest very, very early on. And apparently just never, never did it. But apparently I finally have a big weasel. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully that means I can turn it in now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, it's definitely possible the Parasect ate him. Ate him. I do wonder if that Parasect is still in that house. You've just reminded me. I think this is the one. Or possibly I'm thinking of the wrong one. It's one of these on this side. Although, granted, it's also possible that because I took that request, now the guy's not in the house. Yeah, it might just be that giant. I want to see that giant parasect again. But who knows, the spores could have gotten him! So, you're looking for a giant buizel, huh? Does this one count? No! Was it only saying one of one because I had a buizel, technically? Ow. Fine. I had to think for a moment. Kimchi Geodude. <laughs> uh, fun thing about that, I noticed that she seems to have moved her business, if I can call it that, somewhere else in town. The, uh, <laughs> the pickle jar Geodude is this one right here. <laughs> the one just floating right above the jar, should I call it? Well, here it is. In all of its... Hard work and glory. Totally, totally touching that lid, I promise. So apparently I've got to catch a giant weasel. I need to complete the Pokédex entry for Cherim. Find a Pokémon with three leaves in the Crimson Mirelands. Catch a crow gunk. Though I have a funny feeling the only crow gunk I have in the in there is the shiny one, so I'll have to catch another one of those. <laughs> oh, the mission about the Suna Wudo. Actually, that'd be interesting. I want to know what the deal is with that. Ah, oh, but there's a mass outbreak of Geo, dude. I gotta. There might be a shiny Geo dude in there. Uh, that might actually convince me to use the Geodude line for once, if that happens. Oh! Oh yeah, I actually had a mission here, I just remembered seeing that guy. Apparently a... Sfeel rolled down this exact mountain right here. A villager named Senki has asked you to look for his Sfeel that went rolling off into Bolderol Ravine. Is that the... So you're saying shiny Geodude doesn't look too grand, huh? I'm not familiar, so... And yes, the shiny Pokémon do stay shiny when they evolve. Why are you rolling away? I'm here to rescue you. <sighs> what trouble are you going to get into? I can tell that's where this is going. Don't roll down the mountain! You're out of control! How are you even going to stop? Oh yeah, I forgot there was an alpha golem around here. Might as well try to capture it. 
I guess that's true. Sphiel's just living its best life. Any chance the roll is a good day indeed. You're... You're really not planning to roll down the whole mountain, though, right? Apparently so. Apparently so. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's the Geodude outbreak, at least. So try to capture them all. Or not. Where'd this field go, though? Oh. Did it just want to go to the water? Oh my goodness, Field! I can't believe you rolled all the way down here! You escorted Sfeel all this way, right? Thank you so much! Please, meet me back at the summit camp. I'll thank you properly there. Yeah, I probably just wanted to see the water. What? What do you want? How dare you! I was trying to sneak up on some Geodude. That's what you get. I'm hoping to just stay stealthy by that grass over there, but... These hunters are gonna get in my way. Gotta take it out! Well, you're not wrong. I, I guess I could use smoke bombs. I keep forgetting those even exist. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted. Good thing I didn't notice. are there? They just keep appearing. That's probably the last one. It is, okay. Well, I guess that works. Sadly, no shiny, though. Maybe if there were 150 of them, I might have seen one. <laughs> Whatever those odds end up being. I need to look that up again. <laughs> I'm kinda curious now. Thanks to you, I was able to find Sfeel. And it's without a scratch, too. Here, this is for everything you've done. Thanks. You're gonna be more careful from now on, won't you, Sfeel? <laughs> of course. Huh? Wait, where did Sfeel go? <laughs> ah! Sfeel! <laughs> I... I kind of wonder if I'll see them if I go down the mountain. <laughs> but I also want to catch this Rotom. Feel will not be contained. You've got it right indeed.
There's also an Alpha... Mismagius, I want to say? I always forget the name of that thing. Oh, yeah. One thing I kind of noticed was that some Pokémon seem to have a larger radius of seeing than others. Never quite figured out the difference between them all. I was momentarily surprised that one saw me, but... I remembered I actually had a lot of trouble the last time I saw that thing. So this feel had come to the water last time. I don't see feel. Okay. Well, I thought that might have been interesting. Maybe that won't be the last time I see them, though. So what mission would be good? More crow gunk the Ah, the Suda Wuda, right. That was the original idea, kind of. I got distracted, and then I forgot what I was even doing in the first place. Ah, hello there, and welcome in! I've noticed some strange things about the pseudo wudo in this game. I think it's going pretty well. I've basically loved this game so much that I just had to play it more even though I've technically beat it. <laughs> so I'm going through and doing all the little side missions. How about you, though? How are you doing? Probably should actually tell go ahead and teleport there. And maybe make it daytime. Good. Well, that's definitely good. Always better than bad. I've been waiting for you, kiddo. Let's get down to business. Have a look at that pseudo wudo. It was looking pretty listless, so I gave it a whole feast of berries. But even though it gobbled them up, it still seems like it has no energy at all. Isn't that odd? So then I figured it must be parched. After all, it's like a plant, right? It must need to be watered. So if we could just fire off a healthy water pulse at it, I'm sure it'll perk up in no time. Uh, I don't know about that. What? You don't agree? But plants love water. Bring me a Pokemon that can use water pulse so we can get Sudowoto feeling right as rain. <laughs> yeah, we gotta grab the Wilmer Pail. <laughs> Oh, no. Poor Sudowoodo. I feel bad. I... That's not what I wanted. So... Who's got some nice water poles? Uh... Sure. Floats will do the trick. Why not? Uh, but you are right. Why, did, why does this guy want me to attack this Pokemon with a Water-type move? Even if it was parched, why is that a good idea? <laughs> I think I'm missing something there. I can only see it getting the wrong idea. Sure did. Alright, get ready, Sudowoodo. All your worries about to be washed away for- 
washed away. <laughs> Why? <sighs> washed away for good. <laughs> Guess we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't like that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd want to fight back, too. I'm kind of curious if I can catch it. I don't... I don't know if that's fair to it. Okay, I can't catch it. I'm supposed to defeat it. Never mind. Oh no, it looks so sad. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like getting wet. Is that it? Gosh, I guess I rained on your brain. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why do you have to word it like that? Uh, these are like puns. Uh. Sorry, Sudo Budo. And I'm sorry for making you a part of this too. I thought I was helping. When you get right down to it, I just didn't understand Sudowoodo. Keep working hard on that Pokedex to educate poor fools like me, would you? Sure. So that actually kind of reminds me. I don't know uh, my progress on Sudowoodo's entry. I have not completed Sudowoodo's entry. Although, maybe me complete the mission kind of counts? <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of the problem here. The guy thought Sudowoodo was a grass type. <laughs> uh, I don't know for sure if there's going to be one, but I kind of hope there's a Sudowoodo hanging around here. I remember there was one somewhere. Somewhere this way. I kind of want to see more pseudo widow because those things act very strangely to me. Uh, I don't think any pseudo widow spawned here. Okay. I'm also potentially thinking of another area altogether, either way. But I do think I remember where some pseudo widow were that may be a little more guaranteed. I, wait, y yeah, I, I guess that's true, but I just find it weird because in their pursuit of looking like a tree, they don't really react to anything. That's just weird. Was that the uh, Cornet Highlands near the ruins? And I think there's a couple Sudogudo there. I found out their strange behavior mainly just occurred to me that they might not like the rain. That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> okay, okay, you make a good point. <laughs> if they did react and run away, maybe that wouldn't be conducive to them looking like a tree. I didn't think of it from that angle. <laughs> I'm hoping to get to where there's no weather, because I just have a funny feeling Sudowood is the kind that doesn't want certain weathers. It was... somewhere in that ballpark. I ran into the trouble because I was trying to complete their entry, and one of the entries is to scare it off with a scatterbang. Which is just mean in its own right. But I was realizing that it just wasn't going anywhere, and it wasn't counting because it wasn't getting scared off. So, 
took me a long time to figure out what I was actually intended to do with those things. It turns out that Sudowoodo stops reacting once it's spotted you. But once it's already spotted you, it will... It will tank everything. Sorry, I'm just passing through! Ah. There's Sudowoodo. But, um, this is kind of what I mean. I'm going to be mean here to it for just a moment for demonstration purposes, but... It doesn't go anywhere! <laughs> it just stays there. And that just is the only instance I think I can remember of that happening. <laughs> but if it doesn't see me, or if it doesn't think I'm there, like if I throw it from afar... That scares it makes it run away. <laughs> that was... that was weird. <laughs> So, what should I work on next? So, I still need a crow gunk. I still need a weasel. Maybe that should be my, my next goal. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find an alpha weasel. Maybe that's the size I need. But at least the only place I can think of for Krogunk is the Mirelands. And the place I'm thinking of for Buizel is the Fieldlands. So at least that's two different places there. Well, okay, maybe I'll concentrate on the Krogunk first, because there's a the mass outbreak of Petalil. I'll take my chances for a shiny one of those. Or maybe even an Alpha. So, over there, alright. I have to make sure to get a crow gunk along the way. I guess I'll paralyze it first. And hopefully Thundershock is fine. Barely. Okay. <laughs> that almost KO'd it. Now suffice for that mission. Oops, pressing the wrong button. I think I've seen an outbreak of this particular Pokemon one other time. Maybe this time will be the lucky time. So we'll just try to capture them all. What? Why are they running away so fast? Did they see me? <laughs> and also, why is the music still... What has seen me? <laughs> huh. Oh well.
Oh, that didn't help. Okay. Jeez, where'd that come from? Where are you going? Okay, that went way over. That'll work better. Is there one still hanging in? I guess there was. I'm starting to think a shiny's not appearing this time. Oh well. They're still appearing. Okay. Never mind. And that one. And that one. That's all of them, right? Oh. There's still more? Jeez, how many of them appeared? Either I'm mistaken or I'm... Just not noticing how many of these mass outbreaks actually spawn. Jeez. Okay. The outbreak's still going? Uh... Is that the last one over here? Jeez, you run away so fast. Still? How many of these things have I caught? And also, what is still aggroed on me? How is it still aggroed on me? Oh, that didn't go well. Oh, hopefully that will. Never mind. Still no? Alright. Fine. How about a berry? Well, just on luck, I did a research task, I guess. That's worth something. But... Importantly, at least, I got a crow gunk. Is there anything else I could accomplish around here? Would that happen to be right? No. Okay. No. Those are not for here. Okay. But seriously though, what is still aggroed? <laughs> okay. I never saw what was actually aggroed. Time to head back. I to find a giant weasel. So apparently I caught 14 of those things. Okay. For some reason it seems like more at the in the at the moment. So at least for these obsidian field lands, I remember there's an alpha float soul that's guaranteed, but I need a giant weasel more so. So I don't know if that means I need an alpha or if I can just find a, well, just a, a really big one. But I'll still give it a go. Are the spawns replaced with the Drifloon? They are. Okay, well apparently it needs to be daytime. 
fine. It's nearly daytime, but... And I only just remembered, but I also need to be paying attention to where the moon is. Because I apparently need to do the request during a full moon. Alright, fine. We'll do it your way. I was trying to catch you from afar. You'll let me catch you now, right? You basically don't stand a chance, of course. That counts, okay. And I still suspect there's more weasel around, but... Uh... Am I thinking of further up? Maybe? Probably. I'd rather not battle if I don't have to. So, berries it is. Well, at least the- at least the research test says it was a big one. Maybe that one will count. But just in case, I'll catch more. I think there's also some over here, by the floatzel. Oh. That one saw me? Oops. Okay. Well, I guess we'll still do it the battle way. I can barely tell with these which one's bigger and smaller. <laughs> so that's why I'm just gonna catch them all and try them all. Barring the alphas, I usually barely can tell the difference in the sizes of these things. I guess this is working as a double helping because I'm completing the research task. I thought I had caught more Buizel than apparently I have. Well, I was hoping the sleeping one would be an easy catch, but fair enough. One thing I haven't gotten over from all the battles is that for some reason every time I battle the grass glitches out like crazy. I don't know if you can see that. Can, can you see that? The grass just sits there twitching like mad. I really want to know why. Basically happens every single battle where we're in grass. I... what? Well, well, I call it twitching, at least. What would you call it? <laughs> yeah, it's... Just having a seizure is no big deal. That's normal for grass, right? Maybe it's the wind. Then the 
then the battle's done. And it's back to normal. Looks like the wind's blowing it now, instead of whatever was happening in the battle. That's basically every battle. Yeah. I could catch more weasel, just to make sure. Because <laughs> I still don't know if I caught one that's actually a big one or not. Except for, again, that one saying, you caught one big one. Oh, now I see what you mean. Yeah, kind of like a little mini hurricane was going on there. I'm gonna have a whole army of weasel for this guy. One of them better be right. See me from so far away with these ones in particular. Fine. Have it your way. Whatever works. Just gonna hope that's sufficient. At the very least, that one that triggered the research task, that has to be the one. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to rely on luck. Whatever 2% chance it is for a random Pokemon to spawn in as a alpha. Which I'm uh, not really fond of the idea of. Oh, I changed the tracker, that's why. I was getting a little confused there. Alright, hopefully one of these bees will do the trick. I do like that the the system for storing all the Pokemon picks a couple every time I come to the village to show in that field. It's nice getting to actually see them instead of them just being stuck in a computer box, I guess. Hopefully I did indeed. I don't know which of these are the bigger ones, so I'll just go through the list. Okay, that one wasn't big enough. How about this one? Still bigger yet. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> you, you've got some specific tastes in mind, friend. It only occurred to me. Uh... He says what he's looking for, and the height is listed on the Pokemon's cheat. Okay, well that would explain it. I apparently need over two foot eight. Ah, <laughs> uh, so I caught a big one, but it's still not big enough. It says it goes from two foot to two foot seven. Wait a minute, I had a two foot seven one. So if he wants two two foot eight, that means it has to be an alpha, right? <sighs> Fine. I think I'll put that one on hold. I guess you got a good point. So what do I have in the Pokédex entry anyway? I already passed it. Where, where's... There it is. Yeah. 
So, at least my Pokedex entry is indeed showing two foot, a two foot seven. Uh, I guess that does mean I need an alpha. And I don't think there's a guaranteed alpha weasel. Uh, whoops. I do have the crow gunks, that's something. Maybe one time here I'll just randomly luck across an alpha weasel. It's happened before. I might have released it though. Will you let me have a crow gunk? Sure. Just a question of where did it even go? Oh, it's in, in my party. That'd be why I didn't see it. <laughs> so this is Crow Gunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? I need a smidgen of your poison, please, Crow Gunk. Would you be so kind? <laughs> Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. <laughs> <sighs> I appreciate that they said super effective, even if it was kind of... Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to keep an even greater range of people in Pokemon if we could set up some kind of... aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Survey Corps' work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. Pacel, my poor back, it's screaming! One moment, I've got a medicine that ought to be a great help! It looks like we'll have Buck up on his feet again, thanks to you and Krogunk. <sighs> yeah, it can be kind of glaring on the fade to blacks for this game, and other Pokemon games, if I've seen enough of Sword and Shield in videos. <laughs> <laughs> so Is this Is this kind of intended to be like a Nurse Joy equivalent? Or is this the ancestor of somebody else maybe that I don't recognize? Because I noticed she has one Hair loop, if I can call it that Not two though But then again she did talk about setting up like aid facilities that kind of sounds like Pokemon Centers, if I'm to be honest. I think I've completed Octillery's entry. If not, I think I could pretty easily fill it out. Where were you? It is completed. Okay. That'll be easy enough. Oh, well, that's right. I think he wanted to make food out of Octillery's ink. A little weird, but... Oh, so you've looked into Octillery for me, have you? Lovely, let's hear what you've learned. Oh, my. So that's how it is. Wait, hold on. Are you quite sure? Goodness, to think that Remoraid evolves into Octillery despite them looking nothing alike. But more importantly, it seems Octillery isn't poisonous, so its ink must be safe to eat after all. Oh, I can't wait to gather up some ink and try creating lots of innovative new recipes. Once my new pickles are well and truly perfected, pop by for a taste, won't you, dear? Uh... Octillery ink with your pickles? The same ones that your Geodude here is helping you out with? No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Moving right along. Something about Combi, huh? Those things are cute. I want to see more of them. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. You're right. There is a pasta that's made with, <laughs> with squid ink. <laughs> I totally forgot that existed. Probably it... Well, it turns out I had the wrong house earlier. Well, here's that Parasect. 
that massive parasect. Oh boy. Listen, I've been gathering kombi honey for work, and I'm starting to think that their honey's flavor varies between groups of kombi. I'd like to look into the differences more, but then I mean collecting honey from kombi hives in all sorts of areas, and that's a bit too much for this lone fellow. That's where you come in. I'd love if you could bring me kombi from three different areas. First, get me a kombi from Grueling Grove, would you? I have to go to three different areas and catching a... Okay. Well, that's, uh... uh... Wait. That lady has another mission? <laughs> oh no. What Pokemon is needed for your food now? I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geo, dude. Aren't you curious? Not really. Oh, come now. Don't be such a spoil sport. Help me gather the ingredients, won't you? I need two hunks of crunchy salt, two pods of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. Okay. I guess I can help you out there. Well, inventory organization. Alright, so two of the crunchy salt, two of the king's leave. What was that last one? Plump bean, okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, normal enough for now. For now, yeah. Do you want to make a perfect batch of pickles? It'll use up two hunks of crunchy salt, two pounds of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. Let's get pickling! Lovely! I already have the sand radishes I need, so let's get pickling! More of the fade to black, right? Now for the final step. All we need to do is place Geodude on top of the pot. And it's done! What in the world? <laughs> I should have been clued off by the bright light. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a graveler now. Gosh, Geodude changed shape. Is that the evolution business I've heard people talk about? And what about the pickles? Oh my, this is twice as good as I expected. I'll call it the twice spiced radish. It truly is the perfect pickle dish. Why, with the help of Pokemon, there's no limits to what a cook can accomplish. Thank you so much for helping me out. Was I just given the recipe for that? <laughs> So I have a question here. How did Geodude evolving into Graveler help make whatever this was tastier? I really don't get that. <laughs> Geodude's evolution seems to cost my pickle recipe to evolve as well. But how? How? I'll just, I'll just have to roll with it. Yeah, I got the recipe, I guess. Boost power of the moves by 50%. Okay, I apparently already had a couple of them in there in my storage, but fair enough. Something I keep forgetting to check is the shop here. Transparent mechanism. That sounds like the upgrade for Porygon? Nope. Close.
close though. Dubious disc. Okay. And I also want to reset the farm. Because I've been fiendishly trying to gather all of the mint possible. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what mattered for time passing in this game as far as the shop or furnishing or these farm here's completing the harvest, I guess. It wasn't time. I tried sleeping a lot. It turned out it, it had something to do with how many Pokemon I caught. <laughs> so if I catch enough Pokemon, then the farms finish. I, I don't know how that works, but I guess that's to keep incentivizing the gameplay loop. Right. Grueling Grove. I don't perfectly remember where that is. So... I want to say that was in the Obsidian Fieldlands? Grueling Grove. Okay, yeah, I guess it is. Well, since there's a mass outbreak, I guess I can do two things at once. So the cricket taunt is kind of sorta on the way. Yeah, yeah, that's the question I had there. How would it being graveler make for better better pickling? What's the deal? I mean, the original purpose, I guess, for having the Geodude was to keep the lid shut. So maybe the idea was that Graveler is heavier, so it's keeping a better seal on the lid. That even seems like a little too much of a stretch, even by the Pokemon standards. Wasn't what I wanted to happen. Come on. Fine. Jeez, they're going crazy. Okay. Catch all the cricket time. I apparently had not caught many of these things before, so, uh, I guess this is a good thing for the Pokédex as well. <laughs> Forgot about the smoke bomb. Whoops. That'll make it a little easier. Didn't quite reach. So that's the deal. Okay. So they're not just all easily catching. Fine. Did one sneak over that way? I guess it did. I wasn't sure if that one disappeared permanently. Wow. Okay. It made it far. But don't worry. I'll get you. that. Righty, so time to see about catching a special combi. And of course, keeping an eye out for an, I guess, an alpha weasel. <laughs> yeah, those aren't alphas. Alpha Floatzel, but that's not gonna count.
Now, sometimes my memory isn't the best, but I actually don't remember seeing Combi around these parts. So, I learned something new. Turns out there are Combi this way. Yep. Try not to get spotted, though. Okay. I hope that suffices. <laughs> so, was it referring to Combi in the same obsidian field lens? Or... Why? Why do you have to do this to me every time? And that should be enough. Yikes. <laughs> ah, new in your puns. If nothing else, you sure have a lot of them. And that's very commendable. <laughs> you nearly always have one for the... For whatever situation it is. I I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Where did there it is? I'll just have myself a little sample of a honey. Fade to black. That's exactly what honey should be. Tastes like a distilled drop of nutritious, foresty goodness. But I get the feeling it doesn't quite taste like honey from other areas. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Let's move on. Two more places to check. The next combi I'm after lives on Apom Hill. Could you bring me one from there? Apom Hill? Was that at the Cobalt Coastlands? It was. Okay. To the Cobalt Coastlands. <laughs> yeah, it may turn out this guy just wants some free honey. You're right. Can't really blame him. Like you said, honey is delicious. But then that begs the question. Would honey from a Pokemon, specifically the Combi here, taste different than the honey we know? Would there be something special about it? Would it taste better? Worse? Or would it just be standard ordinary honey? Huh. I might have to think about that one for a while. Looks about the right area. Might as well grab the sandal, though. Ah, I thought that was an alpha weasel. Now I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the goal here. It's it depends on the region. Maybe we're gonna find out that this honey here is the best of all. Or heck, even the third place. Oh, that counts. And four heading now. Help somebody by collecting their bag. It's just the right thing to do. Yeah, I know, it's disappointing. I only caught the one comb bee, but I'm just helping a villager out, alright? A guy that wants free honey.
Beyond the giant tree at the Obsidian Fieldlands, I'm not remembering another place that had Combi. So, I'm gonna be surprised if it's not that. But it would make sense, since the theme seems to be different whole areas altogether, so it's probably not at the Obsidian Fieldlands. Sure did. I'll just have myself a little sample of its honey. Not too heavy on the sweetness. Just honey. Plain and simple. And good enough to serve as a special treat on its own. This one definitely tasted different from the grueling grove honey. I'll make sure to memorize this flavor. Alright, here's the last of these errands. Could you bring me a comb beef from Ramana's Island? Actually, I think that is also at the Obsidian Fieldlands. I forgot about the islands. Yeah. Oh. There's a mass outbreak for quillfish. Okay, well, I'll, uh... I'll try to catch some of those, too. Uh, don't worry, it'll be fine. I see the mass outbreaks all the time, dude. But I probably should craft some more of these Pokeballs. I don't have very many anymore. Well, I guess I have a decent amount of the Ultra Balls, but... More is always better. And I suppose I could finally stock some of these again. Alright. I guess I'll go southwest from there. Not the right way? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen a combi on this island. I probably have, I'm just not remembering. I remember seeing Chelos and Gastrodon and Starly and such. A palm, okay. Chimchar, and there should be an Alpha Infernape. The guy did say Ramana's Island, though. No? Well, I guess I see honey sitting by the trees. That's usually a good sign for seeing some combi. Is it because it's raining that there's none around? Oh, hello. What's a that's an alpha gastrodon doing there? I'll try to capture it. And that'll suffice. But again, where's the combi? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to assume it's because of the rain. Well, at the least I can try to catch the, uh, glowfish. Trap. Oh. Oh, I could've gone better. <laughs> yep. 
geez, that is always a little difficult to control. <laughs> I guess I'll be battling these instead. Yep. Yep, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh on some super effective can see things are not water here in Hisui. Yep, no, they're my Pikachu. It's surely catchable now. Now, how about that other one? Oh, yeah, poison on very not the grandest. Right, forgot about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the heck out of here before I end up passing out. I guess the other possibility is it could be that they're only around at daytime? That actually probably is it. How about making it night or <laughs> make it a daytime instead? It's raining though. I don't want it to rain. If I still don't see them, then I'm just gonna assume that their spawns have been taken up by the APOM or something and I'll have to have catcher KO them. They're still not here, so yeah, try something like that. I don't see thought the thunder shock would work the first time. Trying not to get too close to Infernape, but uh guess I could try catching that thing anyway. Yep, all you gotta do is go for the berry and then you'll be caught. Easy like that. So since the honey was around the trees, I still figure that means these things spawn around the trees. But... Uh... Past that, not so sure.
I don't know if Alpha ever did. I didn't hear anything more on the subject. I was thinking about it more. And I realized that I could be wrong. The major difference is I really wouldn't have any way of knowing for sure because I actually kind of leveled up super quickly, Research Rank, because I was just catching all the things. <laughs> So, I think it was actually very early on I was hitting research rank 6 and 7. I had barely even left this first area. So I can keep an open mind about it. It's possible, it's straight up impossible. I just haven't seen anybody talking about that yet. I did my, I did my best to try to find some evidence that Pokémon are straight up uncatchable. Because of your research rank, but... I never did find anything conclusive. Are there gonna be anything that spawn in? That'd be nice. The Shellos are on the beaches. Same with Staravia, I guess. But... Uh... I guess I can come back. Maybe they'll respond by then. Still have to catch these coolfish anyway. Jeez. Okay, I've learned I don't have very good aim. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess if I take the slightest bit longer to figure it out, maybe it works. It's still weird that you get the bullet time equivalent while riding this thing. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't really quite feel like battling them all. be on Ravanus Island. Well, I'm on the right island at least. Incorrect quest description, or is it just because I need certain things to spawn in? I guess I can just keep KOing them until a combi appears. Not that I'm guaranteed that that'll even work. Because I see more Apom appeared, and that's definitely not combi. So, our combi just rare here? Or did they give me the wrong location? Okay, wasn't expecting that. Because I do know of another location where combi actually are. But... It wasn't this island that I was thinking of. I don't know. Oh well. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh, they're all angry. That won't work. How about that one? Jeez. <laughs> Still 
Still got three anglers and swallow me. That's uh, the combi I'm thinking of. I'm more over this way. Still got a whole bunch of uh, honey all over this place. Then here are the combi in question. It's uh, definitely not the Grueling Grove, so this is kind of like a different area. Oh, that took a little too long for that one, but alright. Oh, hello. Alpha Combi. <laughs> a shame I couldn't evolve you, you're a male. Not the best choice for this. I... I actually don't know why that one faced away. That was a little weird. <sighs> well... Because it's foggy, the moves have a lot. I was kind of hoping they would survive that one, but... O oops. I'm just curious if I catch other combi, if that'll count. Most likely not, but just in case. I have one from the region I'm thinking of. The region of the map, I should say. Alright, where'd those quillfish go? Alright, what can I catch? I am apparently not so good at aiming these. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> There's... Another possibility I just thought of. Sometimes wild Pokemon are found in the trees. And I did just now remember that Combi could be one of the Pokemon that pop out of the trees. But none of these are shaking, so maybe I just have to come to the island at a point where one of these trees are shaking. I might give that a go. Otherwise, I'm a little at a loss of how to actually catch one on that island. I could just try giving the other combi just for fun, but... I mean, they did say it was a combi from Romanus Island. So, uh... Try to catch one from Romanus Island, I will. Maybe if I'm lucky, there'll just, just be one roaming around. Probably should have gotten rid of the weather first, but... Oh well. That's all APOM, alright. Hmm. Uh, 
I feel like I missed something there. Unless it happens to be attached to somewhere just nearby and it's calling it Ramon and Silent even if it's not. Maybe where I caught the one I'm talking about counts? I guess I will just try it just for fun. You're perfectly fine with a combi from another area, right? Not too hopeful, admittedly, but sometimes it's just worth a go. <laughs> okay, well, it just started right out with it. You don't have the desired Pokemon. <sighs> Fine. Well, you did bring up a good point there. How does he even know? How does he know where the Pombi genuinely was from? It's not like they look different, right? Come on, game, just give me a Pombi. Though I guess it's also possible that this guy is such a connoisseur, proven through the fact that he's able to memorize the taste of the different honey he's gotten and keep them separate. Such a connoisseur that he can tell just by looking at the combi that they're from different locations of the world. Now that'd be something. Because now that I think about it a little little further, how else would he know that there's combi in these locations? Maybe he's already seen these before. Well, that could just be the core problem. Maybe he knows the combi are there, but he needs us in the survey corps to go and capture them because, you know, Pokemon are super scary, frightening creatures. He can't catch them. I'm uh, I'm still not I'm still not seeing a combi anywhere. Nor shaking trees, admittedly. So uh, that's a couple of my ideas down the drain. I mean, I've been collecting their, their honey, it's, it's right on the ground. It even says Dazzling Honey right on the item. I, uh, well, the, you're right. There are flower patches that I haven't been looking at, but... I, uh, I didn't think the combi were around the flowers. But them being around flowers would make some great sense. I guess... I guess they just don't like this island as much as the guy thought. <laughs> oh boy. Guess I might as well try finishing up this outbreak. Catching them all! I might have to give up on the bullet time. I don't really know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> Granted, I have a lot of trouble catching Pokemon in the water as it is. <laughs>
You've got a tip on the Romanus Island combis. Well, at this point, I think I might need it. Because otherwise, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with those. <laughs> Jeez, that hurts a lot. Or Pikachu. Self-destruct! Okay. They only appear in the trees. Lovely. I was kind of afraid of that. <sighs> but if that's what I gotta do, then all right. I was just noticing there that Floatzel was actually in the water, not standing on the little platform. Which is fun, because I've already seen a fair number of water types come out and stand on that platform thing. So now I now I don't know what the difference is. I thought it I was I was kinda hoping initially that water types would just swim. But I guess it's only select Pokemon swim. And it's not even all water types. I mean, you're right. It's the ones that they only bothered to animate. <laughs> I'll try to give some credit where it's due. They did add, actually, some new animations for this game, which is pretty sweet. It's... It's no AAA game level animations, but, you know, it's something. For all the basics, whether they're sleeping or eating, like five different idle animations, usual. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Coliseum was definitely the greatest of the greatest in that regard. If only, if only we could get Genius Sonority to make Pokemon games again. I do have to say that I still like the direction that this Legends Arceus game took. I very much hope to see more in this vein. Polished! And a little more appropriate for the highest multi- highest grossing multimedia franchise in the world. But still, something along this sort of, I guess, gameplay loop. This has been very fun. It's just, even still, just the basic action of capturing Pokemon is... fun. <laughs> that's, that's just the best word I've got for it. I can't say it any other way. She's shaking. And there's a combi. Okay. I guess all I can really do is use Thunder Wave and hope for the best catching it. Please don't run away. Where are you going? Alright, that's what I thought. Phew! Okay, well that's... That's relief. There's still more of the... Quillfish, really? Okay. Maybe I just need to try to catch him from up far. 
Come on. Nah, I give up. I am not very good at catching them when they're in the water. <laughs> Turns out even the bullet time wasn't enough to save me. Well, I say that, there actually was one water Pokemon that I was able to catch very easily. But that was because it wasn't aggressive. So, uh, it was very easy to get behind it and throw a heavy ball at it. <laughs> But that was essentially the only time I felt like I was actually able to catch a water-based Pokémon. Someone that was actually in a river or something. Okay, finally got the special Romanus Island combi. Now, I hope this means that this combi is the most special of all because... Yeah, there were plenty of plenty of very colorful flowers there. I guess speaking of those flowers, there was a little side quest I found there that the guy on the island wanted me to bring him a scyther. <laughs> Turns out he wanted the scyther so he could cut all of the flowers on the island <laughs> and take them to his wife. <laughs> Not just some of them. All of them. It was gonna totally destroy that island. I'll just have myself a little sample of its honey. It's zooming in. This type of honey just begs to be stirred into a cup of tea. Must be something different about the flowers. So combi in different areas make differently flavored honey. What a delightfully mysterious bunch they are. Just think how many clusters of combi there are in the obsidian fieldlands alone. I'm getting the urge to go collect more honey. Thanks for helping me confirm my suspicions. I have some of my hand-selected dazzling honey. Really? Oh. Okay. Ever since I found out that each combi store makes a different flavor of honey, I can hardly wait to harvest my honey and find out how it tastes. Yeah, wait a minute. You brought that up earlier. Why did he need us to go get that honey? Now he's saying he can go get it on his own? Well, I guess that means I was wrong. <laughs> Did I fill up my chokes page? I did. I guess that's an easy one to knock off. For construction purposes, if I'm remembering correctly, this dude wanted to uh, find out more about my choke. This might be a case of that kind of slave labor thing again, where they get the Machoke to help them build stuff. Well, I say help, but... It might not be accurate. Probably closer to do it for them. Did you complete Machoke's Pokedex entry? Please, show me! So, with, like, green, huh? And it certainly has a sturdy, powerful body. That would be the perfect addition to the construction core. Did you actually go catch a Machoke? I guess so. Thanks to you, I was able to catch him a choke. I guess I owe the Survey Corps one. It really seemed to enjoy the grain cake I threw at it. I promised we'd feed it lots of grain dishes. And that seems to be enough for it to help us. 
You know, the recent exploits of the Survey Corps what inspired me to get help from Pokemon in the first place. Keep up the good work, you hear? I feel, I feel kind of bad for that Machoke, but... As long as the guy keeps true to his word and actually gives it all those grand cakes. Okay... Yeah, I'm actually very surprised the guy went and caught his own Machoke. That has been very rare indeed. Who is that? And why are they standing on a rock? Is this is this the lady I'm supposed to find for another one? I think it is. Uh I may not have to ride on Ursa Luna to find this one. I think I I think I see the person I'm supposed to find. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Oh hello there! Oh, Vinny, you came to find me. I got the old heave-ho from the Spatrop Sea, and splash! It was right into the sea for me. And then I couldn't swim back to the shore on my own, so I was just stranded. So, um, please, can you help me get back home? A Machop did that? <sighs> okay, no problem. Wait a minute. Was the help just getting off that rock? Because I think the rock might have been connected to the land as it was. Thanks a million for your help, Vinny. I'll pay you back somehow. My oh my, that Basque Legion... Sure is something. It zips right through the water, even with the weight of a person or two on its back. Amazing! So she was on this one. So technically you would have to swim. But that... That's such a short distance though. Can she not swim? Maybe not. I'd understand if she can't swim at all or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, you you got me there. You got me there. Uh, the, the player character can't swim that far either, so... You are totally right. I kind of forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> yep, perfectly fair indeed. Wanda made it back home safe again. I really can't thank you enough. I knew I wouldn't be wrong to ask you again. You're still as good as everyone says you are. And that Ursa Luna is amazing too. Not many can track a scent even across rivers and seas. I never used Ursa Luna, but don't tell him that. If I could ever learn to live with Pokemon myself, a Pokemon like that Ursa Luna sure would be nice. Yeah, a Pokemon that's great at finding things. Yep. Yeah. It worked out great. Thank you for finding Wanda again. I wish we I were strong enough to face Pokemon like you do. I was supposed to be out there looking for other people's lost items, but instead I got found. I think you said something similar last time. Uh, I think soon I'm going to be calling it a night, but I am curious if I can figure out another one here. Oh yeah, there was the, the mushroom guy if you want to help us find up. I don't remember if I have a swine up on hand. Is that what the mission will want from me? Most likely. 
If not, I can catch one. So I know we're mostly plentiful in that area. Sure, that'll help. Oh. An alpha swine up. Uh guess that'll guess that'll work. But this one's getting moved. I'm gonna have to reorganize all these boxes later. Catching too many Pokemon! Alright. So... I think I'll go ahead and finish this request and then call it a night. No, oh, it's the cute Alolan Vulpix again! Got one sleeping. Oh, I'm by the pearl settlement. Okay. Just worried about that's losing my health there. All right, friendo, what you looking for? Glad to see you all the way out here. I've been waiting patiently with a request. What say you to a spot of mushroom hunting? In the snow. The Pearl Clan told me that the shrooms grown around Hearts Crag are quite the delicacy. But these little gems are buried in the snow, and only a swineub's nose can shuffle them out. This is where your skills come in. Catch yourself a swineub, take it out foraging, and see if you can find those mushrooms. They would be great. Okay, until I saw the quest markers, I was starting to think, wait, wait a minute. Is this a thing that Swineup can actually do? <laughs> I kind of doubt it, though. But why are all these markers at trees? I forgot how giant Alpha Swineup is. Okay. Swineup is making some noise. Is there something beneath the snow? Where'd you come from? Oh, found one indeed, did you? A fine mushroom indeed. Well done. <laughs> Have a swineup accompany you around Hearts Crag and snuffle them out from under the snow. So I don't get to see the mushroom. Okay. I guess I can roll with that. He looks like a chocolate truffle. Are you talking about Swineup? Because if so, I think I might agree. Swineup is making some noise. Is there something beneath the snow? Well, that's... That's, uh... Definitely not a mushroom. Yeah. Oh, that didn't go well. Not for the Snover either. Okay. Hey, you're okay. <laughs> Even happy despite being fainted. Gosh, I thought you were slacking off wasting time with that Pokemon battle. Seriously. Look at this splendid specimen of a mushroom you found. You're a natural at this forging stuff, you know? <laughs> Only one mushroom left. Oh boy. Slacking off, how dare you. And revive poor swine up there. Wow. 
why did it stop me? Wow, you and Swine Up snuffled this one out quick. I just knew you were the right person for the job. That was a little abrupt, but alright. Fantastic effort all around. You and Swine Up did a great job tracking down those three mushrooms I was after. It sure was fun forging with you both. Sure it was, you did nothing. Pokemon and people together make for a great team. I can't wait to forge with you elsewhere. Perhaps with a new Pokemon powder along to help. It'll be hard to top Swine Up though. Its snuffling skills may well be the best out there. Thinking about it, it was a Swine Up that discovered the hot spring in the Pearl Settlement too. Maybe I should really just partner up with the Swine Up, huh? Moral and Swine Up. The mushroom hunting dream duo. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, that would be significantly better than relying on me. Swine Up's got a real knack for rooting out some swell mushrooms, wouldn't you say? I'd like to take one out for a bit of fungi finding fun of my own one of these days. Okay. Well, I guess that's fair enough. Just as long as it doesn't involve me, it's all good. <laughs> However, I think... I think that means I'll go ahead and call it a night. Thank you for joining me. I hope it was interesting. It was all side quests, but they each have their own little flavor. And some of them even add a little bit to the lore, which is interesting in its own right. I'm not sure if I'll be streaming any more Pokemon Legends Arceus, but it's possible. I might be figuring out something different for next weekend. But that's a decision for a little later. Thank you very much. I'll catch you another time.